Frank, this one's offline. There's rough and thick stuff over there. They'll pay a little bit of a price for missing the fairway here because from that rough, you cannot control the spin on the golf ball. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. He's knocked it on the green, but not in a great position. This is a difficult chance coming up here. Long birdie try. So a long putt there and just didn't read it quite right. Putt for par, needs one. Frank, that's a par, and onward we go. Frank, back in 1998, by any chance, do you remember exactly how many golf balls John Daly hit into the water at the sixth? It was half a dozen, uh, half a box of golf balls. Oh, he's winding this one up. Does he have the power, though? Oh, huge. Ooh, ooh. Huge with a capital H. Busted that. Now we're a featured golfer setting up for another approach. Really neat to get something going here, Frank. And that green right now must look like the size of a thimble. Paying attention like a little kid at school, Frank. That baby's sitting up. Sitting up? It's got the best view as well. You don't even need binoculars from where that ball is. Oh my goodness, he just made that. I cannot believe it. I was thinking he might get it close. <laughs> and just a great shot. Now at the par 3-7, Frank is just under 200 yards. It's still quite daunting. A very narrow entry on that left side. So you've got to hit the ball flush off the tee. Really guarantee a carry of that over that right bunker. So it's still a, a daunting tee shot. safely on deck. That was like Usain Bolt, Frank, right through the tape. Yeah, that first step, that was never going to stop. Second shot. Another good swing. Another good approach shot. Just to tap in to finish the hole. Nice par to remain at two under. Getting ready to tee off here at the eighth. Frank, this hole has it all. Dogleg, 
bunkers, water. How do you successfully navigate it? It's such a pretty looking hole, Rich. That bunker down the left just sort of pops out and you see it. So you can either work it off that to the right, either that or just aim a little right, but be careful of those trees to the right. Really powering up here. Well, this looks good. Certainly is. Nicely played shot, about 310 yards down the fairway. Frank, this is just a pleasure to watch. A player hitting on all cylinders at the top of his game. Notice it's just flowing, too. There's not a lot of deep analysis going through his mind. Just one step in front of the other. If your swing's there, you don't have to find it. If your putting stroke's there, you don't have to find it. Just let it happen. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. That's good stuff right there. Wonderful approach. And now, a really good look at birdie. Needs a few more of those. That was a good birdie. Yeah, this time, that one gets them in the top ten. Finishing up here on the front side at Bay Hill with a lengthy par form. What's the key, Frank? Well, the hole's relatively flat. Uh, but the rough on the right comes into play. If you can carry that ball 300 yards, then just take it in over the bunker. Just burning rubber right here. I mean, this one has taken off like a missile. Just destroyed it. He's going to try and rip the cover off it. Second shot. Good look at the green. that one on the commercial side as they say in the professional game inside 30 feet yeah 27 feet to be precise but um, to make it from there that's asking for a bit on the way Yeah, he's going to love that one, Frank. Sensational effort. No, oh, just eat, a, eat that up. There you have it, Frank. First round is complete. What are your thoughts, partner? Rich, I think anyone inside the current top ten of that leaderboard is certainly well-placed to go on and uh, take this championship. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. It's second round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational. Beautiful looking shot right here. Oh, that's fine. Well, this is the kind of wind that separates the great players from the average players. You really have to be strong to handle these kinds of wins. Oh, 
Well, he'll have to get up and down from the bunker to save his par. Well, bunker play is really about technique and feel. The two greatest ever are probably Gary Player and Seve Ballesteros. Seve actually was so good, he was so skilled, that he could open up a three iron, that's right, a three iron, on a short bunker shot from a green side bunker and splash it to a couple of feet as if he had just used a 60 degree sand wedge, amazing. Frank, that reminds you of maybe what, the greatest bunker player of all time? Frank going for another birdie here. Just to get on a real roll. Racking them and stacking them right now. Six under par for the tournament. Breathing a sigh of relief. You've made it through the par five without getting wet. Now you're at this par three seventh, Frank. You've got to guarantee a carry at least seven or eight yards onto the screen because that's where that bunker is on that right. It cuts in seven yards. Uh -huh. This one looks like it's headed right for the middle of the dance floor, Frank. Rather nice shot, yes, sir. Mm. Frank going for two in a row now. Mm -hmm. Frank, he took plenty of time on this birdie putt. He looked at it from three different angles. He forgot one very important ingredient. Yeah, pace. You can definitely fall in love with the line, even with approach shots as well, but obviously we see it more on putting. Getting ready to tee off now at the eighth, and Frank, this hole has a little bit of everything. Yeah, even though it's a pretty hole, Rich, it, it's a fair way you must hit because that second shot here is one of the toughest on the golf course. Is that full treatment. Get up. Well, that's got to be for the yards, isn't it? Frank, as we look at the approach shot here at the eighth, no doubt a player would be happy to walk out of here with a par. Well, no doubt about that at all. Um, really, you want to judge your second shot to land somewhere in the middle of the screen. Don't really want to be messing with the front. Um, if you have a little look, you'll see why. That's a solid shot here into the eighth hole, and a good chance now for another birdie. You get the sense now with that birdie that our young star, so explosive, is setting himself up for a big weekend run. Good spot right there. Center cut. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. And this shot he is on the fairway, over 300 yards. Really in control of this hole. Birdie yesterday and another opportunity on the way. This hole's been good to him. Birdie yesterday, trying for another one today. With that birdie, it's one shot closer to the lead. Just a beautiful day here in Orlando, Florida. We're at the Bay Hill Club and Lodge getting set for the back nine. Frank, how do you get off to a good start? 
one of the few dogleg rights. Uh, this is a hole that you don't want to overthink on. Uh, if you can carry that bunker on the right, just go for it. So that ball nestles down in the rough. Just got away a little bit on that tee ball. This has really been impressive. Started off slowly, just didn't have a whole lot, but kind of hung in there, fought when it wasn't going their way, and now here they are with a few birdies, really playing well at the closing stretch. Moves into second place with that birdie. Frank, right where you want to be at the midway point of the tournament. Yeah, you know your game's solid, um, the focus is more on the leader and that you can just go out and play. You know, excellent position to be in. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live third-round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational. Stuck the follow through right there. This could be really good. And it generates some momentum here at the seventh hole. This for birdie. Birdie putt coming up. A par on this hole yesterday. Really starting to shine. Moves to 10 under for the tournament. Frank, how about the eighth par four, one of the more intriguing setups? Ideally, you want to just work your tee shot away from that bunker, but uh, this is one fairway you want a little extra. Frank, did you hear the sound of that coming off the club face? It was like a cannon. Frank, in the end, it is a game of precision. We know that. No, it's it is, not, Rich. It's not. You tell me, after a shot like that, he's not pushing this, pumping his chest out. That's what people want to do. They want to hit it like that. Precision. I love to see guys just bomb it. Come on. Everybody wants to hit it that far. Good looking shot right here. That's well played. Wow. Good look at Birdie. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. Given the situation, Rich, things are so tight at the top. Very, very good birdie. That was huge right there. Still with a great chance to come away with this title. Frank, this is a way to make golf easy when you can hit it that deep. Oh. Let's say, I know that first number's a three. I'm guessing the second one's a two. Let's call it 320. And that's 
how the game is played, right there. Oh, he's just making it look so easy. That birdie coming up, formality. That has to feel good. That's a birdie. Back here in Orlando, Florida, at the Bay Hill Club and Lodge. Springtime in Florida can mean only one thing, Frank. Perfect golf weather. How do you get off to a perfect start on this backside? Well, this is one of the few holes that actually shapes to the right. I mean, most of the holes at Bay Hill are dog leg lefts. Um, for the faint of heart, just sort of flicking iron down there, just sort of short of the bunkers. Uh, if you're feeling a little ambitious, just take it over that one on the right. Just a wedge in here. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. Frank, this is a player in full flight right now. It looks too easy right now. Frank, 440 yard par four, 11th. Mm -hmm. You see that number on the card, you think driver. Maybe not. Why? Yeah, it's imperative you hit the fairway here, Rich. Uh, water obviously in play left. Two bunkers on the right. This is a second shot hole. Nicely played shot. About 310 yards down the fairway. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. A sensational shot right there, Frank. Oh, you start beating your chest after a shot like that. That's the best we've seen into this hole today. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Now to the par 5 12. Frank, how good of a scoring opportunity is this? Well, anytime you get a par 5 at Bay Hill, got to take advantage of it. This could be really good, Frank. Oh, straight at it. Wow, that is a monster drive down there. About 315 yards. Second shot coming up here at the par five. Ending strike right there, right off the center of the club face. And a good chance for birdie. 12 feet still to go. Oh my God, I should have moved to the that left. That was a good looking putt, just not falling right now. You know, sadly, he's going to be disappointed. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Continues to amaze Yet another birdie, and what a day it's been. And that wraps up the third round. Just one more to go before we crown our champion. Yeah, I'm not saying I'm looking at my crystal ball, Rich, but uh, that champion that we see tomorrow might be the one just sitting at the leaderboard uh, on top of it right now. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live final round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational. Uh, errant tee shot here, Rich, but gonna have to muscle this one out of the rough. 
Frank, anything you do differently from the rough in terms of your swing? Do you hinge the club a little bit more quickly? You know, normally put the ball just a little bit further back in your stance because you want the club to be going down. Down, it's got to go down through the grass, through the oh ball. Oh, my God. Well, there's a big green, and they're going to use every inch of it. See if he can go one better than yesterday when he made par. This putt for birdie. Frank, there's an old basketball kidding? announcer who used to say when a ball went in and out of the cylinder just the way that one did, he would say, ringtail howitzer. And that one just didn't go in. That is a solid par putt. Frank, one of the things I like about Bay Hills, it requires you to hit clean, strong golf shots. And here's another case at the par 3 14th. It's more than 200 yards. Another one, really, you've just got to play it through the air. You can't play this like an open championship run-up par three. Must fly it onto the green. I'm going to overshoot it. Wow. And I'm, yeah, I'm going to overshoot it. Frank, it hit the green, but just didn't have enough backspin. It, uh, you, you wonder what he's thinking on that. Frank looks like maybe the greatest bunker player of all time right there. Well, he's making a name for himself today. You could certainly put him up there with Gary Player, Severiano Ballesteros. That was just a great bunker shot. Simple, solid, he'll take it. But one that you need to make. Frank, the 15th kind of a fun golf hole if you can curve your ball. I mean, that's a huge dog leg to the right, isn't it? Yeah, it's much easier if you're a right-hander if you cut it down here. If you don't cut it, then make sure you don't run out down that left side. Oh, this looks good. Certainly is. Well, those are good numbers right there. 320. 320 yards. Just crushed it in the fairway. Frank, obviously, way too oh much club God. there. You, you got to think something like that, or at least misread the wind. This is never going to sit down. Nice approach shot. They'll be happy with that. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. Comfortably knocks it in. We've seen guys through the years blow the tournament right on this hole. Yeah, if you get a little too greedy here, you try and make eagle. Uh, <laughs> it's sometimes with a good tee shot, it's an easy four, but a three brings seven into play. Right out of the center of the bat. Did you hear that? That is massive off the tee. Meters, yards, I don't care how you measure that. That's got to be what? 300 meters, 325 yards, something like that. safely on deck. Steady all day long. That one about 20 feet away. They'll settle. Even par, apparently. Wow. Nate Siegel makes everybody else look sort of average, Frank. And look at the size of that lead on the leaderboard now. Frank, this is a great hole through the years to watch when the pressure is ratcheted up deep into a round. That is all you want, more than 220 yards.
Play slightly shorter because it's downhill. The bunkers on the left in play. The, even the bunker short ride and of course the water, if you just miss it a bit, that's in play. And the green shapes away from you. This has to be the most difficult par three on the golf course. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. Well, it was almost like that's what he wanted to do, but why would you want it to run over the back? Frank, you like his chances to walk away with a par here? Well, with a good shot, Rich, yeah, that's certainly on the cards in that. And um, and you think, you just ride a par down at the end of the end of the hole, don't tell anyone about it. It certainly won't it's affect the scorecard at the end of the day. So that's the goal right here. Frank, how about that? Well, can you believe that too? I mean, could have hit the flag and bounced away instead straight in. Amazing shot and really deserves it. Frank, how'd you like to be a rookie? You're going up against, at the time, the greatest player in the game, the great white shark, Greg Norman, and you hole a seven iron to win a tournament? Well, all you had to do was look at the uh, expression on Norman's face as that ball landed and went in. Where'd he hit there? Seven iron. The second shot now to the par four. Frank, what's the magic of Arnold Palmer? He he just has that innate ability of um, making you feel like he's known you forever, um, whether you're a perfect stranger or someone he's known for many a year. It's a, it's an unusual quality. I wish more people had it. Frank, I think he he possesses the greatest qualities: charisma and skill. Let me say it this way, Frank. I don't think any golfer has ever possessed. Uh, a combination of charisma and skill as potently as Arnold Palmer. I mean, there have been players who've won more major championships, but I don't think anybody's been so good at the game who's also been so good with the fans. Well, I think Arnold Palmer was born before we used the phrase it. And really, he is it. And he has that innate ability to, whether it's a four or five year old child or a, or a grandmother or a grandfather, he, he defaults through all generations. Wow, that was so close, Frank. Just time to forget that one. I mean, he couldn't hit that much better. To win the Arnold Palmer Invitational. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that part, Pop. Just a fantastic week of golf. Add that one to the win count. A lot of uh, great quality players out there, and to come on top of that leaderboard is truly a great accomplishment.
to